Let's open the Terror Prime Weapons Locker. Greetings, Saberites. Anonymous here, jumping on the bandwagon with a weapons locker. As promised, a full review of the Ultra Sabers. Flamberge, the crossguard saber. So, I got this uh, Flamberge a while ago, just before it came out um, regular uh, on the site. Um, so this was a pre-order. Um, because, well, figured I, I needed to. Um, we've been playing around with it. This is going to go over, I'm going to go over today the, uh, the actual hilt itself, not the use of it which was a separate thing I did in the teaser here, but we'll, we'll do a separate video on that. Um, so, first off, uh, it's a hefty guy. Um, it's, it's pretty big, but I think it's, it's fitting for this particular saber design. Um, <clears throat> the cross guard measures in at about 16 inches across, um, so it's, it's pretty, pretty big. Um, a 40-inch blade will uh, fit in here and kind of get to be about 38 inches, 30, 37, um, because it sits very, very deep in the hill, as you'll see in a second. Um, <clears throat> the, the balance of it is right behind, kind of like right at the cross guard, if you have uh, um, heavies in there, um, mid grades probably about, about the same. Um, and that's because of the, the weight of this particular piece. This is, this is all one piece here. So, um, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and turn that off and, uh, I'll show you a little bit about what's going on here. Um, <clears throat> the main cross guard part is composed of a whole lot of pieces. Um, so it's got <clears throat> a removable, um, emitter here and you can see how deep the blade sits in the cross guard that way. <clears throat> okay, well actually while I got that out I'll show you. So um, if, I don't know if you can see in there but essentially what we have is we have one LED in the bottom and then we have two LEDs right here. They are wired along the sides here and again I don't know if you can see that but they're essentially just electrical tape to the sides. Um, <clears throat> so that's a design feature which um, should probably be improved. Um, doing it that way you can't really unscrew this whole piece without disconnecting all that kind of stuff. So either having quick disconnects in there as standard so that you can take them in and out or, or, or something is probably um, warranted. <clears throat> um, these also come out. Uh, these are little things for the cross guard. So have it all in there. Now because it has so many pieces <clears throat> It does tend to rattle around because there are a lot of um, pieces that you can, that can become loose, and then it takes a very long time to kind of go through all of them and figure out which one it is. Um, <clears throat> each of these emitters has three retention screws, so the blades are really securely in there. That's definitely um, not a problem. Um, the actual hilt um, itself, though, um, right here, um, since it has so many pieces, the thing we've been finding is that it tends to, uh, it tends to loosen up really, really quick. Um, here, 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 and so you're constantly kind of just going through and uh, retightening it up like that. Now, there's bunches of solutions that you can, you know, uh, do for that. Um, uh, but <clears throat> anyway, that's, that is what it is. Um, as far as, uh, battery life, it's about average with other ultra savers. Um, I have, of course have the stunt version. Um, 
in red, so that's got probably a lot the light uh, the longest battery life. Um, one issue is because of the different lengths of the blade, you have kind of <laughs> ridiculously different blade brightnesses, at least in mine that I that I have had here. Um, <clears throat> you can see these being very short are extremely bright. This is brightish right down here, but it kind of dims as you go away. And that can be seen, it's not too pronounced, it's much more pronounced on camera. And especially if I do something like this. But <clears throat> otherwise, um, there. So the, the middle LED could be brighter. Um, just saying. Uh, pommel and hilt design, very, very nice. Um, it's smooth, it feels very good. This pommel, um, very uh, long, swordy, European greatsword type of thing. Let's see if I have one. Similar to this here, <clears throat> as you can see. Um, obviously, it doesn't have the wasting um, because of need for thread. Um, otherwise there. So, um, we have gone through some bashing around with it, um, which we will show here. Uh, <clears throat> it's been fun. Um, it's definitely wieldable. You're, you, you can avoid the, the, the cross guards, everything like that. Um, we'll go into the use of it later, uh, but, uh, <clears throat> The the main uh, the main hilt and, and and its performance is is very good. Um, other than this tending to kind of loosen up and get all kind of weird on you, I don't know. Now you can get it in different versions. Um, you can get this with the Omen's handle, which may be slimmer um, or not. I don't know. This just has some very light. Um, scoring on it, a couple of things right here. I've had mine <laughs> signed by Jeremy Bullock, so I won't be using this guy, um, unfortunately, too much anymore. Um, <clears throat> but uh, there we go. So the Flamberge uh, Ultra Sabers. It's um, got a pretty good price point. It's pretty affordable for most people out there. Um, if you're doing a Kylo Ren cosplay or something like this, this definitely has that feel. It, you're definitely going to be able to get away with it. I know his is chunky as well. This is kind of chunky. It all kind of suits it. Um, so it's all MHS compatible as well. So you can replace all of these kinds of things, the pommel, all that kind of thing. Um, even even this part, if you, can, if, if you have the uh, gumption to do so. Um, <clears throat> so overall, a very kind of flexible uh, cross guard saber to come out on the market. And of course, it's the first one I've seen, but uh, that's uh, commercially available. Um, so hopefully there'll be more. But as a first offering, I'm giving it a thumbs up. It's a, it's a nice saber. It's kind of fun. If you, uh, if you have, uh, have, the, uh, have the need, have the want, or whatever, it's not a bad choice. Um, being MHS compatible and everything like that, very easy to upgrade, put in any kind of features you want. So, there you go. There you have it. Ultra Sabers Flat Bearish. Um, check it out at ultrasabers.com. Um, from TPLA here, uh, this is Darth Thomas. Have a great day and happy sabering.